Well, normally I do my airbrushing outside, but since we can all see that that is out of the question today... Today we're going to be doing a review, since I can't paint, uh, for the Master Grade Strike Noir. And this kit was released in 2007. So, uh, this kit has been out for a while. Um, I'm just kind of getting back into the, the swing of things. So there's quite a few kits that uh, I think a lot of people have that I don't. Uh, this kit, though, I don't know why. I was always on the fence uh, about whether or not I wanted this. And I uh, was actually able to end up scoring it pretty cheaply off of eBay. A uh, normal retail price for this kit uh, online is usually about $55 uh, if you're going to order it from uh, Japan, like from Hobby Link Japan. Uh, you can get it a little cheaper, uh, but the shipping's going to end up killing you in the end. So uh, your best bet would probably be to see if you could find one on eBay or uh, just pick one up uh, through Amazon or something like that. But uh, my initial impression after um, finishing the uh, construction of this kit is it's it's really nice. Um, if you guys were ever thinking about, you know, should I get this kit or not, it, it is a little bit more expensive um, for certain, but it is really cool. Um, the Noir pack uh, that comes on the back of this guy, uh, whenever I look at it, I always think, well, you know, that looks kind of simple. There, there doesn't really like seem to be a whole lot there, but it's, it's really like quite the opposite, actually. Um, this kit has a ton of accessories it comes with. So if, if you're the kind of shopper who's looking around saying, you know, I, I want this, but if it only comes with a few little things, um, totally wrong. This kit comes with a lot. So let's actually take a look at what you get with the kit. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, so obviously you get the uh, Master Grade Strike E plus the Noir pack. So there you go for the Strike Noir. Uh, now just a, a quick mention, this uh, kit is actually the same kit as the, um, I think it's the Master Grade uh, Strike E plus IWSP pack, I think. Um, Lucas O'Donnell Custom or something. Uh, I believe is what it's called, and it's basically the same kit with a different backpack. And obviously the colors are molded a little bit differently. So um, you get the kit, uh, you get these two little uh, small beam pistols here that hang up on the skirts like so, and they're pretty neat. Uh, this The Noir pack it comes with has a lot of different accessories and options and posability, and we can go over that in a little bit. Um, but you also get, uh, this, uh, beam pistol, or, uh, beam rifle, which is similar to the, um, dual Gundams. It's not the same, actually. It's with the Master Grade Dual. A lot of people were saying that. It's not the same. Um, this one actually has the, uh, option to have the, uh, grenade pop down and then slide out if you wanted to. The uh, uh, new Master Grade Dual Gundam doesn't do that. And also the barrel on this guy is just, a, I think it's a little bit longer. There's uh, subtle differences in the gun, but, but they are different. And you actually get two of these. So we've got two beam handguns, two beam rifles. So we're up to four uh, guns. And we get a fifth gun. And this is the uh, Normal Strikes Beam Rifle has a little bit of posability there. So you get five beam rifles with this kit. You also get uh, two of these little wires. And uh, if you've ever watched the uh, anime, actually if you haven't seen the anime, this is taken from uh, Star um, Gundam Seed Stargazer. And it's only, I think it's broken up into like three 30 minute sections. And it's pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen it, you can um, find it free online to watch it. But uh, he can shoot these little, like, kind of cable things around to um, help him move himself around. So you get two of these. It's pretty neat. You also get two red beam effect parts. And these are going to be uh, for uh, uh, some weapons here on the backpack. I'll show you later. And we also get four sets of hands, which are kind of the hands, uh, the hand style I like anyways. Uh, you get uh, this... 
normal basic style of hand. It doesn't really have a peg or anything in it, so it doesn't hold stuff as well, but I'm okay with that. I don't, you know, I don't need it to hold stuff uh, that well, but I like the posability that the hands get. You also get the trigger figure hand for each arm. You get the closed uh, fist that uh, has a small hole in it that you will actually need to use um, if you're going to be using one of the features on the backpack. <clears throat> and you get this kind of neat looking uh, open hand. And this open hand has a pretty cool feature in there. You see there's a hole in it. And that's where these little cables come into play. Um, he can shoot them out in a few different areas. But one of them is his hands. And you just kind of push it in and then and it'll actually stay on there pretty good. But if you want to, you could have it like he's firing this little cable out of his hand, which looks pretty cool. Now there's also a few other areas where if he wanted to do that, he could. Uh, down here from the feet, you can do it uh, from either one of those. You can also have it attached up here. Uh, you could have it attached on the hands, not not these, but the open one. You can also have an attachment here on the backpack. So, uh, let's see. And then rounding off, as I get sidetracked, uh, what you get? A sheet of uh, foil stickers. These two are going to be for the uh, main beam rifles. These blue ones here are for the smaller ones. And then you got a sticker for the eye. And you also get some stickers and dry transfer decals. And actually, um, actually, no, I'm mistaken. No, I, these are just normal decals, I think. Actually, I'm not sure now. I think those are dry transfer. But anyways, I mean, there's some pretty cool ones on there. Let me kind of get him out of the way and see if, no, actually, he's helping, isn't he? Let's try it like that. Quite a bit, for, uh, quite a bit of different. You get some Phantom Pain logos on there, some uh, uh, No R Striker one that'll look pretty good, a uh, Omni logo there, and then the usual warning signs and stuff like that. So uh, decals on this kit are going to look really cool once I can get them painted, which hopefully should be pretty soon. So, I, I think that'll do it, I mean, at least for the accessories the kit comes with. Um, let's do a little bit of uh, articulation, and then uh, I think I'll get part two up, and we can kind of show off what the backpack does. So, <clears throat> uh, articulation for this kit is uh, very similar to other uh, kits of this type. Uh, I won't go into the, uh, you know, long, boring process of showing you every single uh, joint that bends, but I thought I might show off like some notable joints here. And uh, so firstly, up here, this is a very similar to the uh, the new blue, or uh, not blue duel, the new duels. Um, it's a whole different thing. I want a blue duel Bandai. I'm just going to throw that out there. You've got a normal one. You've got this guy. I mean, I think you could round it out. So I want the blue duel. But anyways, uh, this joint in here I really like. It really uh, helps out a lot when you want to try to do some different poses. And also when you're moving this up here, that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a that's an insane amount of uh, posability, at least I think, compared to, compared to quite a few other kits. It's a lot better. Now, uh, let's see. Another point I liked about this kit is this kit actually does have a little bit of the armor separation that I think is pretty cool. I mean, you can bend the leg back as far as you want, but I I really like that as far as with like the uh, the hip here, how that piece moves up and down. You don't get as much detail though uh, in here as you do like let's say compared to the uh, duel that I just completed. The duel has quite a bit of uh, inner workings in there. You can see, and this one doesn't, which you know kind of reflects the uh, the age of the kit. It is. Um, Let's see, 2007, so that's going to be almost five years old now. So, it uh, it does have some notable uh, piece. Uh, let me get that on there. Well, actually, let me show that off first. The beam rifle is there that just simply uh, peg in place. Look pretty cool. And if you can see, these are uh, don't look exactly right, and that's because this one... 
um, this one, I'm sorry, can actually move. So you push it down and it actually keeps it up a little bit higher up on the hip so it doesn't hang down too low. So that's a pretty cool feature. One thing that I do not understand, and uh, after going over all the runners, I didn't see anything for it. If anybody knows anything about this, on the back here, there's a hole. And I don't believe that that's for a uh, action base. I'm pretty sure you can just slide it in there. I'd, unless I'm out of the loop, I haven't seen an action base connector uh, that would peg in right there. Um, it kind of looks more like it's to hold something, like if uh, one of these rifles were to have a peg or something, it could stick in right there, but they don't. But anyways, it's uh, it's a very nice kit. Um, one, one thing I wasn't really a whole sure about, though, is when you're opening the cockpit, this little piece acts like it only wants to bend down about that much. And then if you're going to get this out... It can slide open like that. But in my mind, this piece, if I can get that in the camera, this piece would actually want to slide down about as far as right there to kind of make it more flat. But when I try to push it down more, this will actually just pop off and fall out. So it seems like it only wants to go in that far. Now, I don't know if that is uh, the way this kit normally comes uh, or what, but that's what's mine doing. So, anyways. I think that'll do it uh, for this video. It's a it's a great kit. I mean, the the shape of the shoulders here uh, kind of always threw me off for a little bit, but now that I got it and I have it, and I'm looking at it. It looks it looks really nice. Uh, Noir means French and black, so I think it does it pretty well. It's got a darker color scheme, which I like. This is actually similar to the color scheme that I'm painting for my uh, goof right now. Um, not completely similar, but close to it. Uh, these hinges right here on the backpack I thought were also pretty neat. You can have these uh, wings pushed forward like so, and you can actually move them back like so. So if you want to get them further away, you can. If you want to bring them closer, you can do that too. And there's also uh, some articulation here on the backpack, but uh, that thing's pretty cool. I think we'll just show that off all by himself. So overall, this is a great kit. Um, I kind of wish that uh, I had gotten it sooner, to be perfectly honest, after building it. Um, I was very pleased with it. I was not disappointed. So um, I think that'll do it for this video. Uh, I'll get a second one done here showing off the uh, striker pack for the backpack and um, give my final thoughts on the kit. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you next time.